at the price that you see on your screen. And that price is less than $30. You're getting not one, but two wonderfully hardy plants where the foliage is, is almost as beautiful as those spectacular flowers. Now we start off with hibiscus as being, again, something you imagine on a faraway island with a sandy shore and aqua colored waters. But these are hardy enough to withstand a Wisconsin winter, a Midwestern winter, or, or the heat of the sun down in Miami. And it's very rare to get a hibiscus that's, that's white in color. So we're giving you two. Katie's got the white at her home. These are called, this is gorgeous. They're called Blackberry Merlot. Look how big these flowers are. They're bigger than, than both my hands put together. And the leaves are these deep, dark, luscious. They look like they've been hand polished with wax on the, the greenery. Katie, Cottage Farms knocked themselves out to bring us two extraordinary <laughs> plants. Well, I know you guys love hibiscus. I, you know, this is one of the things that on my Facebook page, people always say, when are you bringing the hibiscus back? Because they are showstoppers. We call them 60 mile an hour plants where your neighbors will be driving by or strangers and they want to slam on the brake and they want to know what is that plant? How are you growing something that looks like it's supposed to be in Hawaii yeah. in your yard in, in Northern Michigan? So that's the really cool thing about these. If you're looking and thinking, I can't have these, well, you're wrong. These can grow in the coldest of winters and they can tolerate the heat. So almost everybody in the country can grow these hardy hibiscus. And you mentioned, Dan, this French vanilla. So we've got these two, we're calling them the, the dessert queens, which I just love, um, but this French vanilla. So getting that pure white, that true white is hard for our breeders and our growers. So we're working on getting it. This is the closest you're gonna get in this perfect form. Hibiscus can be unruly, but what we yep. get for you here is a, a four foot plant that always grows with this beautiful habit. It's going to flower for you. Once it starts in midsummer, it will flower for you nonstop. And it's perennial, so it comes back better year after year. This is what you start off with. You get two different bare roots. Look at the size. Uh, and I always find it just extraordinarily interesting to, to see how something like this becomes something like this. Because the hardier the, the product that you plant, the hardier the plant becomes. So plant it at the appropriate time. They will be shipped to you at exactly the right time for you to plant them in your yard. I'm assuming because of the bright color that this craves sunlight. Is that correct, Katie? You know, it can take part sun. So that's the beautiful thing. Like we're talking sun, we're talking four-ish hours a day max. So you can put these in part sun. They'll do like um, the more sun, like roses, they'll flower better for you. Um, I do want to show you on this, since we're doing a close up here, on the root. So you want to plant it with these two stems sticking up and you can yep. see, I think here, can you see Dan, the discoloration uh -huh. in where it was growing? So these have been field grown. So just a little tip, you can cover up some of the stem as the color changes, just leave some of it, maybe an inch or two poking up out of the ground roots down, leave that stem sticking up, and you will get flowers this year. Here's what people don't realize, Katie, is how much science goes into making something like this happen. The bare root that's being shipped to you uh, is already over a year old. And, and they, are, they are babied and they are tended and they're cut by hand so that they're ready to thrive. You get both plants. I only have one sample here. I have, again, that gorgeous Blackberry Merlot. You're going to get that dark red, but take a look at that French vanilla, which is a creamy little bit of yellow in the center, a little bit of the Merlot ring, and then as close to true white as I've ever seen on a hibiscus. There are few white hibiscus anywhere in the world. And when you see these plants, they are so tropical, you hear ukulele music. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I do, I can hear it. Yeah, this is like the South Pacific and they grow almost anywhere. Now, if you live in Anchorage, I hate to disappoint you, but if you live in Wisconsin, which by the way, the temperature difference in Anchorage in Wisconsin, four degrees, that's it, that's it. This will grow in the Northern states. They'll also take the heat in the Carolinas or in Mississippi or down in Florida. So if you're 
blessed enough to have a pool or a patio. You know, if your deck is going to be your staycation spot this summer, as it was for all of us last summer, why not make your own garden a destination that seems like a tropical paradise? Katie, my wife hates to fly, and I mean mm. hates it. So to get her on a plane to go to a tropical destination, it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but having this in the backyard and uh, the right drink with an umbrella in it, that's that's you bring the vacation to her. Yeah, why not? Yes, yes. And, you know, remember, these get four feet. So with the two, now you're creating eight feet of garden space. So when you are getting them home and thinking about where to plant them in that partially sunny spot, remember their full size. And so I have a new fire pit garden that I've created and I have these lining the fire pit. So they create actually in midsummer nice. all the way through till fall, they create this hedge of color. And so we can be out there enjoying maybe a little privacy from my six year old, my four year old, but probably not. But you know, if you have neighbors that you wanna have some privacy from or just create these garden rooms, these are the perfect plant for doing that in your yard. You can put them in the back of your yard because they're so big, the flowers are so, so huge you know they can be eight inches to ten inches across that it will draw your eye out to wherever you want it to especially this white color you know yeah. if, if the white in your garden acts like a flashlight yep. you know it yep. will draw your eye to anywhere and i love when you show both of us because that blackberry merlot is such a deep rich color and it echoes the center of this french vanilla we try to put gardens together for you guys that look pretty together plants that work together nicely that will do so many things for you and these two plants will do just that they'll give you that color they'll give you the the really easy plants to grow i mean these are you plant them and they really will grow remember they'll be a midsummer plant for you so they'll pop up in the middle you know early midsummer and bloom all the way through till the first frost and again those flowers are ginormous it's the size of a dinner plate now these are brand new today and already we've had over 400 sets that have been ordered. Also consider something else. I feel uh, if you're fortunate enough to own land, whether it be a, a posted stamp size or acreage, you have a responsibility to that land to plant things that are pollinators, that'll bring in the hummingbirds, bring in the honeybees, the butterflies. This does it. By the way, this is an aircraft carrier to a bumblebee, to a honeybee. They can see it from great distances. <laughs> also keep in mind, anything, anything that you plant in the ground that grows and becomes green provides us oxygen into the air. And it's this magic. I, I have a passion, uh, a true love affair with plants. Uh, as a farmer, what I grow is a little different than just flowers. But man, there's, gardening is competitive, Katie. It's a full <laughs> contact, knock your neighbor to their knees type of, of competitive sport. <laughs> and, it, and if your neighbor is growing what everybody else can find in the garden centers, which by the way, this year is gonna be dismal. Uh, we already know that. Plants are extraordinarily difficult to buy and to find and the prices have gone way up. When you plant this in your yard, uh, there is no competition. You will have mm. people stop you and say, what is that? Where did you get it? And it looks like you've got a master gardener in the family because uh, who else would be able to do this? The fact of the matter <laughs> is, it's as easy as planting two of these. Yes, yes. And would you rather plant the plant that Dan and I have in front of us, which by the way, will be more like your second, end of your second year, or would you rather dig a hole that size, yeah. you know, that you can just use one shovel full and plant it and know that you are creating the healthiest space for that for that plant and you know when you talked about gardeners competitiveness you know there's nothing like last spring when everybody was home everybody was walking the neighborhood you know peering at each other's gardens i loved it i got to share so much garden knowledge with my neighbors more people are gardening now than ever and so i want to make sure that you get easy plants to grow that you'll have success with and that's the type of gift. And keep in mind, these are perennials. They'll come back stronger next year and the year after that. You can define your outdoor living space by using the plants that we have in the program. Uh, over 650 people on the phone lines, brand new today. I would not wait. Today is the only day at this price.
Coming up a little bit later on, we're going to talk about wisteria. Now, that name.